Hey guys, in this video we're going to use the T-Call ESP32 SIM 800 board to publish sensor data to the cloud from anywhere in the world without using Wi-Fi. We'll connect the ESP32 to the internet using a SIM card with data plan. The TTGO T-Call is an ESP32 development board that comes with a SIM 800 GSM GPRS module. You can get it for around $11-$18. Besides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can communicate with this ESP32 board using SMS, phone calls, or you can connect it to the internet. This is great for IoT projects that don't have access to a nearby router with Wi-Fi. To use this board, you need to have a nano SIM card with data plan and a USB-C cable to upload code. The package includes some other pins, a battery connector, and an external antenna that you need to connect your board. However, we had some signal strength issues with that antenna, so we've decided to switch to one of these antennas and all those connection problems were solved. A link for a complete overview of this board and where to buy it is available in the video description. Let's get started. The idea of this project is to publish sensor data from anywhere in the world to a cloud service. The ESP32 doesn't need to have access to a router via Wi-Fi because we'll connect to the internet using a SIM card data plan. In a previous project, we've set a server and the main name with a database to plot sensor readings in charts that you can access from anywhere. In this project, we'll connect the ESP32 with SIM800 to a BME280 sensor to publish sensor readings to that server. You can publish your sensor readings to any other service, like ThinkSpeak, IFTTT, Otherfruit.io or others. It's a simple HTTP POST command that will work with any other provider. If you want to follow this exact project, first you should complete that previous tutorial to prepare your own server. Then upload the code provided in the project to your ESP32. I recommend using Bluehost as your hosting provider, because they can handle all the project requirements. Basically, you'll need a server with PHP and MySQL. If you don't have a hosting account, I would appreciate if you sign up for Bluehost using my link, which doesn't cost you anything extra and helps support my work. You can find the link below this video. In summary, here's how the project works. The T-Call ESP32 SIM 800 board is in deep sleep mode. It wakes up, connects to the internet using a SIM card, publishes the sensor readings to a server and goes back to deep sleep. In our example, the sleep time is 60 minutes, but you can change it in the code. We'll be using a BME 20 sensor, but you should be able to use any other sensor that best suits your needs. Before proceeding with this project, you need to install some libraries. For the BME 280, we'll use the Adafruit BME 280 library and the Adafruit sensor library. There are many ways to interface with a SIM800 module. We'll be using the tiny GSM library. These libraries are available to install through the Arduino IDE library manager. After installing the required libraries, wire the BME280 sensor to your ESP32. We're using GPIOs 18 and 19. We're not using the default I2C pins because they are being used by the battery power management IC. Then, Open your Arduino IDE and copy the code provided. First, you need to search for your phone plan provider APN details. You'll find a domain name, a username and password that is used to establish an internet connection using your SIM card. In some cases, the username and password aren't required, so you can leave them empty. In my case, I'm using Vodafone Portugal. If you search for GPRS APN settings, followed by your phone plan provider name, in my case it's GPRS APN Vodafone Portugal, you can usually find in a forum or in a website all the information that you need. I found a good website called wiki.apnchanger.org that can be very useful to find all the information that you need. It might be a bit tricky if you don't use a well-known provider, so you might need to contact them directly. After having your APN details, you need to insert your SIM card PIN if set, otherwise leave it empty. Then, insert your server details, domain name and resource, 
which is the URL path. This is where you'll publish your sensor data. In the setup, initialize the CIM800 module and the BME20 sensor. Enable deep sleep with timer wake up. In the loop, connect to the internet using our SIM card data plan. Then, in these lines we prepared the HTTP POST request. We are sending the temperature readings in Celsius degrees. If you want to use Fahrenheit, you just need to uncomment these lines. Finally, make the HTTP POST request. In the end, close the connection, disconnect the module from the internet and start the deep sleep mode. For a complete explanation on how the code works, visit the project page. Now, to upload code to your board, go to Tools, Board and select ESP32 Dev Module. Select the COM port and click the Upload button. Open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 115200 and press the Board Reset button. First, the module initializes and then it tries to connect to the internet. Please note that this can take some time. In some cases it took almost one minute. After connecting to the internet, it will connect to your server and make the HTTP POST request. Finally, it disconnects from the server, disconnects the internet and goes to sleep. In this case it publishes new sensor readings every 60 seconds, but for testing purposes you can use a shorter time frame. Open a browser, type your URL, in my case it's esp-chart.php. You should see the charts with the latest sensor readings. This project is already running for quite a while, and that's why you can see so many readings. If at this point your module can't connect to the internet, it can be caused by one of the following reasons. The APN URL or APN credentials might not be correct. The antenna might not be working properly. In our case, we had to replace the antenna with this one. You might need to go outside to get the better signal coverage. Or you might not be supplying enough current to the module. If you are connecting the module to your computer, it might not provide enough current to operate. I hope you like this project. I really enjoyed using the TCOL CIM800 ESP32 board. It can be very useful for IoT projects that don't have Wi Fi access. I'll be publishing more projects with this board soon, so stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to get a TCOL CIM800 ESP32 board, Check the links in the video description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.